Hey guys, it's Dan from Umbrella Bird here again with the Binding of Isaac Rebirth. Let's just hop into our save file here. So last time we did an Eden run, uh, we started out with the... What was it? Squeezy and... Oh, something else. This is gonna bug me. Alright, whatever. We started out with some decent items. We managed to get all the way to Mom's Heart through our run, but because of a few mistakes we made here and there, uh, specifically... Uh, specifically popping the hematomesis pill or whatever it is after the second last boss wound up costing us the run. I did look at the footage by the way and I did see that those turrets hit me. I thought I had flanked a little more to the left or to the right. I didn't think those tears would have hit me but it turns out they kind of skimmed and hit Eden's arm uh, which kind of sucks but uh, what I have planned for today should be much easier. We're going to be doing a cane run and let's just hop in. So, I can't remember if I mentioned it in other videos, but Kane's whole... Ooh. Kane's whole, uh, special... special trait or whatever. I, I don't want to say shtick. I don't know why. I've been using that word way too much, and now I'm trying to think of another word to use. But, uh, his whole... niche... <laughs> there, that's a better word is that he has increased luck. So if I just open up this uh, screen here, you can see, oh, by the way, there's our code, our our seed. Uh, I haven't been putting those up and I apologize. Today's seed is 61JRTPBJ. <laughs> and uh, his only item that he starts out with that's different is the lucky foot. And luck, as you can see back there, it increases the, uh, it basically increases your luck of finding everything. I mean, uh, I've noticed it with hearts, you tend to get better items, you tend to have easier bosses. It's just, uh, in general, it's a good stat to increase, especially in a difficult game like Binding of Isaac. Alright, let's try to find our item room. We found our boss. We also managed to find a soul heart, which is nice. Uh, I'd go back and I'd get that black heart, but uh, we can't blow up these solid uh, rocks, so just gonna have to find some way to fly. Wow, look at that. We killed four of them, and all four of them entered the decapitated stage. Five for five. <laughs> Alright, what do we have here? Lard. Eh, it's okay. The extra, the extra health there, plus two health is really good, but uh, it tends to slow us down just a little bit, which can be bad depending on which bosses we fight. There we go. Still haven't technically taken damage, which is good. Let's keep that up for the, for the other floors. All right, who are we fighting? Gemini. Yeah, this boss specifically is one that you don't want speed down on. The other one I can think of later on is War. I know I've had runs where War has just destroyed me because I've gotten a speed down somewhere. And uh, his second stage is that he just bull rushes you and he charges. You know, it's difficult enough to avoid him at uh, average speed. At slow speed, he's basically always touching you. Alright, let's deal with it. Again, this guy was much easier in the first one. Ooh. He tends to bounce around a lot. And that kind of makes him unpredictable in Rebirth here. Come on. Oh, I thought we had him cornered. No. No! 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 <laughs> there we go. And that's growth hormone, speed and damage up. That is perfect. That is exactly the item we wanted because it offsets the speed reduction from lard. And I forgot to pick up that red heart there. God damn it. All right. Well, it's half a heart, and we have two soul hearts, so it shouldn't be that much of an issue. Let's... There we go. Hate these pieces of ham here. I don't think I'm going to blow up this, uh, this collection of rocks here to get that half a heart. I'm not that desperate. Maybe we'll find something in the poop here. Pop this. Oh, we got plenty of coins there. What was that? 15 coins? Looks like it. There we go, and we got a key. 
Always good. Alright, let's grab that, head in here. And we got the pinking shears. Now the pinking shears are a pretty good item. They give us temporary flight. I'm not going to use them to show you. Uh, just because they're very valuable, and as you can see, they only charge once every six rooms. I'd prefer to use this for the boss. Anyway, so they give you temporary flight. They basically decapitate Isaac, and his head starts flying around. And his body, uh, in Rebirth at least, I can't remember if it did it in the original, but in Rebirth, it becomes like a... basically like a little minion, like the dead bird that you saw when we were playing as Eve, or that attack fly that wound up killing like half the bosses in the boss rush room when we first tried. And... It, you know, it's more... It's closer to the fly in that it actually does stuff. You know what? I'm gonna go in here because we actually have money to spend. And of course we find that after we open the two rooms that definitely need keys. Pick up that soul heart. Um, you know what? I'll put a penny in there just because we really need to start donating into that. There we go. Let's just kill them as they funnel out. So yeah, so the past uh, past week for me has been pretty okay. It was Christmas and Christmas Eve and all this other stuff. And you know, I'm I've gotten pretty old now. Like I'm not <laughs> obviously you can tell by my voice I'm not old old, but I've gotten past that point where Christmas is a big uh, big deal. Okay, we got Monstro, and here are the pink and shoes. Look at that. Look at that. Great item. And we got another speed up. We got a soul heart. Picking up this red heart now. But uh, I want to say one of the noteworthy gifts I got for Christmas this year was a joke gift from my mother. She got me a Halo Mega Block set. And uh, I just thought that was so funny. <laughs> All right, we picked up Guppy's paw. I'm not gonna use it because I'm happy with three hearts. Um, actually, so at Guppy's paw, I can't remember if we got this in another video. I should really keep a closer eye on them. Uh, but as you can see there, it turns a red heart container into three soul hearts, which is really good if uh, if you're low on health and you really wanna boost your defenses. All right, got flies here. We can deal with that. I said we can deal with that. Okay, there. Get the corner there for a second. All right, we don't need that. But yeah, so I got this Mega Block set, which I thought was funny, because uh, you know I'm I'm 20, I'm 22 right now. I I don't need Mega Blocks, <laughs> especially for video games. But uh, you know, yeah, I I constructed it. It was a Master Chief with a warthog, and it's it's been sitting on my sitting on my desk here since then. Now that's the common cold, right? That's not Bob's brain. Yes, okay, that's poison damage. What are our stats at? Yeah, so we're doing pretty good. Uh, where's the... Where's the boss room now? Nope. Alright, there we go. Another heart. I might come back for that if I can find two more coins. Oh man, come on. Come on, don't throw a bone at me. Nope. Alright. This big room. Oh shit, this is like one of the worst rooms. Because again, these, these assholes here, they won't attack until they're like right up in your face. And because of these turrets on the side, I have nowhere to back up to. Come on. There, we got one of them. We got two of them. There's four overall. Where's the other guy? Unless we... Look at this, see? No way we could have avoided that damage. Eh, I guess we killed that other guy. Alright. Let's fight the boss. Chubs. Oh, shit. I didn't think that would charge me. Alright, there we go. Chubs is down. We got mom's coin purse. I was gonna say mom's pill bottle, but it's a coin purse. Pretty fly. I'm almost reluctant to. Oh wait, wait, wait. Sorry, we're playing as Kane. Yeah, we can pop them all we want. We have, 
We have luck up. Oh, oh, come on. Tears down. Ah. And that is Spirit of the Night. And you know what? I'm gonna pick that up. We've been finding plenty of soul hearts and black hearts. What time are we at anyway? Eight minutes. All right, not bad. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna head back. I'm gonna go into this shop and I'm gonna see if I can get another soul heart. Oh, we got PhD in here. You know what? I'm gonna blow this guy up. Ugh. Spiders, really? Alright, whatever. We're not gonna get PhD. Got lemon party, and we got another key. I would have actually gone out of my way to find a coin to pick up PhD, but, uh... Recently, I had a really shitty run with it. Uh, PhD was the first item I picked up in a cane run, no less, on my other save file. And what were the... What were the pills that I wound up getting? It was... Tears Down, Hematomesis, or whatever. Oh yeah, that's right, we can fly. Um... Trying to think of the other one. Paralysis, uh, Puberty... And I found pills, and the only stuff I could find for any four was pills. It was pills, 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 pills. And finding those... Oh, shit. God damn it, I thought... Ugh, I thought we would have got him. No! Pop lemon party. There we go. Uh, and of course, as soon as he steps on it, it goes away. At least we don't have to worry about his urine. Come on. I was hoping we'd get another guppy. Guppy item. If we could become guppy. Especially as Kane. That's pretty much a win. Oh, fuck. I hate peep. I hate peep and I hate the bloat. Just because they have a ton of health, their attacks are difficult to avoid. Especially with these, uh, with these eyes floating around. That was close. No! Oh, I saw them both coming, one was heading to me, and... Oh, this is awful. Come on. He's so close. Just die. There we go. Yeah, if I had to choose a boss to remove from this game, absolutely, it would... Well, it would probably be the mask and the heart. I mean, bloat's shitty, but at least you can hurt him. <laughs> the mask, which you saw during the uh, boss rush fights can only be hurt from behind, and he has this... He's basically programmed to always be charging you, so... Unless you have, uh, brimstone, or the lasers, uh, or anything that would be able to penetrate enemies, you can't hurt him. And it's not that he's a difficult fight, it's that he takes forever to bring down. Alright, easy room. But yeah, so, uh, didn't have a good run with PhD. Had a pretty good, uh, pretty good Christmas. I had a lot of naps. I, for some reason, I've had trouble sleeping lately. And, yeah, I wound up having, like, two, three-hour naps on Christmas Day. Of course, you know, it's Christmas. That's what that day is for. <laughs> Spending time with your family? Nah. Sleeping. Alright. Let's get rid of these bone guys. We've kind of lost some of our momentum. We were going through the uh, the first few floors rather quickly. Oh, and we got another soul heart. But, uh, yeah, that boss rush room really screwed us over. And there. And we got a nickel. A nickel. Take out these guys. All right. Well, there's our boss room. Oh, shit. Oh shit, nope. 
I've noticed. Yeah, Comic Cold doesn't seem to be proccing that much. Now, because the Binding of Isaac likes to contradict me, here's hoping that <laughs> it will start to proc more. Alright. Uh, we're just gonna go in because. There we go. We had the pinking shears, they were off the cooldown. And we should get a. Yep. Oh man, another luck up. And two keys. That is the contract, which increases our chances of finding double items, but for double bosses. And do you know what? I think I'm gonna pass on that. We're doing okay for items, and I really don't want to fight double bosses. <laughs> Alright, let's find our item room really quick. 13 minutes. Yeah, we're definitely not going to get the uh, the boss rush room in this room. Which is fine. I mean, I was surprised we got it with uh, Eve and Azazel. Well, not Azazel. You always get it with Azazel. With Kane, though, especially when we haven't unlocked everything, I am fine with skipping it for a run. No, right, we are looking for the item room. Pick this up. Telepills. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Just gonna grab a drink for my Coke while we're moving along. hate those spiders just because they they have a tendency to leap across the room and you can never tell how far they're gonna leap until they've actually done it see right there that was a short leap next one would have been from there would have been from that point here all the way to over here all right let's blow this up what's inside oh man we are I was gonna say if we can find more coins let's go into the shop and we found more coins Ooh. Now that is the champion's belt, which is a big damage boost, but uh, challenge ups who are more likely to find difficult versions of the bosses and of regular enemies, and I'm definitely going to take that. I can deal with a little challenge. Alright, let's go to the secret room. Still haven't found our item room yet. <laughs> Again, some of our momentum kind of gone. Let's take out. Let's take out these guys. Watch out for those poos. Yeah, you know, I'm kind of curious if anyone else has noticed these poos when they when they charge. They kind of remind me of Disney characters, and I don't know why that is. It kind of looks like the faces, I guess, from that. Uh, what was it? Steam Engine Mickey or whatever the first animated cartoon Disney put out. And every time they charge, I just think of that for some reason. Alright, there we go. Golden Touch. And what Golden Touch will do is... I believe once an enemy runs into us, there, there's a chance... Not, It's not a given. But there's a chance that they'll be frozen in place. And if we kill them while they're frozen in place, they die, obviously. And we get a bunch of coins in return. Essentially, they, they turn into gold. Alright, not Necropolis, sorry, Depths. I can't remember if we've unlocked Necropolis on this save file yet. Just took another sip for my drink. Um, actually, uh, what have we got to lose? Well, that was crap. <laughs> Take out this guy. I wish I had just a little more damage. If only so I wouldn't have to hear these screams for as long as I'm hearing them. Oh. This is the other thing that gets me about these combat rooms. I never remember where these different enemies are supposed to spawn. So sometimes, sometimes they spawn on top of me. And I'll take some damage just from that. Alright, hopefully the common cold. Especially since we got that luck up, hopefully the common cold will help us deal with these guys. Yeah. There we go. One. There. And one more night and we're home free. 
or we're free to head off to our death. Our deaths later in the depths. I was halfway through saying that and I realized that probably wasn't a sentence I should have begun. Alright, what did we get? Another key. Alright, I'm fine with that. We got our key back and we got a bomb and two, uh, two coins. There we go. Still hate those things because I have no idea how they're supposed to react. Okay, got a nickel. These bats. Keep away from me, bats. No. No chargey. There we go. What'd we get? Another bomb. Well, we found our... No, for a second I thought we had found the uh, the shop as well. But we found our item room. That's good. And another bomb. Oh, yes. Chemical peel. Look at his face. Look what you've done to his face. What's our damage at now, by the way? Okay, almost maxed. Pretty good. Oh, shit. Let's just get these guys over the spikes. Ugh. I just hate these enemies where they come back because I can never land that killing blow. See, and as I said that, I landed a killing blow. Oh, man. I thought we'd be fast enough to get by him. There. But we got plenty of hearts if we find <laughs> some health ups. Flight is, uh, again, coming in handy. Flight's really overpowered, and if you happen to see something that gives you flight on your run, definitely pick it up. It is worth it. Let's pick these up. And we have nine keys, so let's go in here. Ooh. That is that, uh, it's the quicker charge. Let's blow this guy up. Hopefully he'll drop something. No, nope, more spiders. Alright, well, I'm definitely going to pick this up because more health is always good. And if I find ten more pennies, I will come back. Actually, again, we're not in a rush. Yeah, we're already <laughs> pushing down on our time. And actually, while we're here, I have plenty of bombs, so let's blow these guys up. Nope. Just more enemies. Oh, crap. But, uh, yeah, if we can find ten more cents, I will head back there and I will pick up that quicker charge. Because the more we can use the pinking shears, the better. There we go. Deal with this guy there. And we got a key. Alright, who are we fighting? War! Alright. I was almost tempted not to pop the pinking shears so that you guys would see what I mean by slow characters being hit by him, but I didn't want to take the health. And, wow, he's actually lasting a lot longer than I thought he would. There we go. And we got the ball of bandit. The ball of bandages. I almost said ball of band-aids. And no boss rush room. Or not, uh, not boss rush room. No uh, deal with the devil room. Oh well. Yeah, I'm starting to think it might be because we don't have any extra hearts to uh, trade off. I mean, we have the soul hearts, but uh, not worth it. Oh, whoops! I didn't even notice that those were the uh, those were the statues that were going to shoot us. Oh shit! There we go. That looks familiar. Is that something good? It is not. Luck down. Got the rusted key though, I think that increases our chances of finding keys. Which is fine, I mean, it's better than no trinket. And we still have massive luck because we picked up the latch key and we had the lucky foot to start out with. What the hell is that? I've never seen that champion before. There we go, come on. Ugh. Die! There. Good thing he backed up. Didn't think he was gonna blow up. Here we go. And we'll head in here for the hell of it. Because we have plenty of keys, which is also why we're gonna open up these. Two of spades. 
Now we have even more keys. And judgment. There we go, judgy. Something good. Come on, man, you've been good to us in other playthroughs. Eh. Butterbean. Rather keep the pinking shears. Nope. Just gonna glance over, okay? Still recording. Ever since that uh, that thing happened in my last cane run, I've been very, very, very careful about... Oh, shit. How did that not hit us? Neither of those hit us. I don't know if that was luck, or just like... Like, if I don't know if that was luck on Kane's part or luck on my part. And we got sissy long legs. Alright. Where's the boss room now? Oh, that's the one thing I don't like about these long runs, when I'm starting to drag my feet. I thought we were going to get hit there. But when I'm uh, starting to drag my feet... Uh, oh, what? I, I lost what I was going to say. That... Oh, what are we doing? There. Wow. Another explosion of items. Oh, man. Oh, crap. Again, that, uh... That one on the far side just clipped me. Oh, I remember. So, in long runs, it's very difficult to maintain one's focus in this game, like... Especially when it gets harder and harder and harder. I mean, I know that's why we failed that last Eden run. It, it wound up taking forever. It was 40 minutes of uh, gameplay. And because of that, I just kind of... You know, my interest in it, I was still interested in it, in the fact that I was still playing, but... Uh, I just stopped paying complete attention to the game, and that's what wound up cause, causing us to lose last time. There we go. Um, any tinted rocks? I haven't seen any. I'm sure there was one. I haven't been looking very adamantly for them. I also wanted to say, I'm surprised... I haven't gotten the cube of meat as often as I have. I mean, the horsemen only used to drop the cube of meat, and once you got four cubes of meat, you would build Super Meat Boy. It was essentially exactly what the pinking shear, uh, like the torso from the pinking, uh, pinking shears is, is that he runs around and he runs into bosses, and oh, I will definitely take that. And we'll deposit that. And we'll see what's in here. Plenty of hearts that we can't use. This is mom, right? Yeah. Pink and cheers. Get her. It should be a relatively easy fight, considering how much damage the pink and cheers does. And the fact that we can fly over these rocks, which means we're not really restricted to how we avoid mom and her minions here. Oh, shit. Okay. That was weird. Just kind of stuck around. Oh, my God. We are definitely taking this. It's going to cost us three hearts, but... Wow, that was more than I thought it would be. I wasn't counting my hearts. <laughs> and nothing in that rock there. Any tinted rocks? No. Okay. We're still okay, though, as long as we don't take a lot of damage. And brimstone, and the fact that we have the compass, is definitely going to help with that. Uh, what? I was charged up from the other room. You know that game. Still looking for tinted rocks. Oh, that's locked down. go. Nothing. Alright. 
see, this is so weird. This has happened with Brimstone before, where it just... When I pick it up, it suddenly starts spouting off. Like, I can't hold on to it. It just goes off the second I have it charged, and it's weird. Because that's not what it's supposed to do. Telepills and more luck down. I would rather have telepills. Pretty fly. Lemon party. Pretty fly. And pretty fly. Don't think that's going to do anything. We can only have two of them. Or, we can only have three of them, but we already have... Oh, come on! I had that charged up. Come on! Let's get rid of this guy. We can attack these guys from a distance, so... Again, Brimstone. Even though we have to charge it up, the fact that it hits across the room, it's really going to help us keep from taking damage, and I didn't notice that Pinking Shears hadn't charged up yet. Oh, that's one Loki down. Ah. And we beat him, and we got Loki scorns. We also got shot speed and damage up. Uh, any tinted rocks in here? There is, right there. Beautiful. So we didn't take any damage on this floor, and we managed to get another half a heart. Or another heart. Got confused for a second because I looked up and saw the half a soul heart, but when you pick up a soul heart and you have half of a black heart, it recharges the black heart, which is nice. There we go. And we got the missing page. We don't really need keys anymore, so I'm going to pick up the missing page, which is a chance every time you're hit that the room will be cleared of enemies. It's a very small chance, too, so it's... I don't expect it to be useful, but, uh, you know, then again, we're playing this cane, so... Oh no! I thought I had that charge. There we go. So again, you're supposed to be able to take your charge from one room to another. But that doesn't seem to be happening here. I also don't seem to be poisoning them, which is really weird, you'd think. Okay. And the second I say that, it seems like I poisoned both of them. Alright, there we go. Any more tinted rocks? No. Again, I should be able to hold the charge. I don't know why it's not holding the charge. They also, uh, they updated the game, I believe, and these guys will no longer spawn underneath you. Evidently, that was a glitch. <laughs> Alright, I am not even gonna step foot outside of these rocks. This is a horrible, scary room, and I'm not gonna risk my run. Alright, now there's gotta be a tinted rock in here, because, I mean, look at all these rocks. Uh, bear with me, people. This is going to take a while. Right, so no rocks there. Or no tinted rocks there, not no rocks there. I'm not seeing one, which kind of sucks. I almost feel like blowing this up just on principle. It's yeah. nothing. Okay. Oh, I thought it would have been a path to the to the boss there. There we go. And that's another pretty fly, not gonna do anything. Any tinted rocks in here, actually? No, not seeing any. Alright. So again, I'm looking for rocks that look like this one right here, except they have like an X in the bottom right corner. Alright, let's head into this big room. Oh shit! Well, at least the room's clear. There we go. Ah, uh, of course.
Oh my god. Alright, hopefully this will be quick. Come on. Go after her. Oh no, why isn't my... There he is. There he goes. Oh, fuck, that was close. Alright, we could go to Satan, but we have half a heart. I'm not gonna risk it. This is a win in my books, so let's see what we got. Alright, that's it for today. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. We were very close to losing the run there. Uh, thankfully, we didn't. We managed to beat Mom with half a heart left. Uh, Brimstone, it's still pretty glitchy. I don't know why that happens where I can't hold my charge. You're supposed to be able to do that. But, uh, you know, again, still a win. We didn't get to Satan, but we beat Mom's heart. That'll be our episode for today. And we unlocked the wire coat hanger. So, again, this is Dan from Umbrella Bird. Thanks for watching, and be sure to catch me in the next episode.